Well, we've worked our way towards the back of the Airbus Helicopters booth here at Heli Expo. Behind us, you can see we've got the H215 joining us. We're fortunate to have Brent Nicewonger. He's going to talk to us a little bit about the capabilities of the aircraft. Brent? Hi, thanks, Richie. Yeah, this is our new heavy utility uh, helicopter. It's uh, capable of an 18,960 pound max internal gross weight, as well as a 20,000 pound 615 or max external weight. It's uh, useful loads about uh, over 8,000 pounds, and it's capable of a max cargo sling capacity of 9,920 pounds. Okay, so where does this aircraft sit in Airbus Helicopters' portfolio? Where's it set at? Yeah, so it kind of fits between the 175 and the 225, uh, in between those two areas. And uh, it's also kind of our heavy utility uh, segment solution. So it's a multi-role aircraft capable of performing SAR missions, firefighting, uh, general utility heavy lift missions. And we understand as well that this aircraft is actually going to embark on a, a North American tour following the completion of Heli Expo. Have you got any extra details on that? Yeah, so we're, we're really excited about this, this opportunity to, to really show off uh, the benefits of the new H215 to the North American market. So coming out of uh, HAI, we'll be doing a few uh, select demos here in Louisville. And then from there, we'll be going to Huntsville, Alabama, where we'll be working with uh, some of the U.S. government programs. And then we'll be taking this out to uh, California and spending a week in Southern California, as well as a week in Sacramento, California, uh, where we're also going to be uh, attending the International Aerial Firefighting Show uh, that will be going on March 22nd and March 23rd. Okay, and just uh, finally, what sort of impact do you think that the new business model will have for the 215? Yeah, so certainly we're excited about the uh, the new industrial model of the H215. Uh, Airbus Helicopters has created a new final assembly line, focusing on delivering standard mission-equipped aircraft at a very cost-effective acquisition price. Uh, we believe that this is going to allow us to uh, to enter into some of these markets that we haven't been able to penetrate in the past uh, due to the uh, the cost of the aircraft. So we're focusing on uh, on really industrializing the production model, which also benefits in shortened lead times and greater customer satisfaction. Thanks, Brent. Appreciate it.